To graph a log, what you want to do is you want to go between logarithmic form to exponential form. This is a technique I've used, and I call it MAOA. Now, what happens is, typically when I'm changing something between logarithmic form and exponential form, is I'll have my log value equal y. I'll do it in reverse order. It's the same exact thing, okay? But what happens is, the technique I use to teach my students is that I say, let's make this 2 equal x. So we'll say, let's 2 equal x. And the way 2 is going to equal x is if we use this y. Now, this y has to be the exponent of the subscript that you originally used. So you put a y right here. This is converting between logarithmic form and exponential form. Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, the technique I'm going to show you is called, as I said, maoa. And what you'll do is you'll set up a table. You want to have five values for your table. It allows you to graph a much nicer logarithmic graph. Now, what's different about MAOA is typically you start with the x. You say, let's plug in x, and we get y. Well, because logarithms are an inverse of exponential function, MAOA says, why don't you use your outputs to find your inputs? Now, the benefit of this is that you get to take these values and put them as the y. So you'd say, let's take this 2. 2 to the second power becomes 4, and that equals x. 1, 2 to the 1 power is 2. 2 to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the one, negative 1 power is 1 half, and 2 to the negative 2 power is 1 fourth. Now you're allowed to graph this, and you get to use just a basic small table One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Okay. Now watch how this is done. This is still your x and this is still your y. So when you actually graph this, you'll say, all right, four over in the x, two up. There's one dot. There's this one, all done. Two over in the x, up one. There you go, that's that dot. 1 over in the x with the 0 y, that's 1. 1 half x, well, 1 half happens to be in between 0 and 1. And then it says to drop down negative 1 from there. So here's my next point. 1 fourth is right here, drop down 2. And there you have it. You have graphed a logarithm that fast and that easy.